today's video, I will be studying Korean with you. Since I got into college, I had to recreate a strategy I was using to study Korean because of the lack of time to invest for language studies. Um, basically, college is tough, and that's totally true. Now I'm taking private classes with a great teacher who's extremely passionate about the language she teaches, and I think she has been influencing me to love studying foreign languages even more. Um, I'm taking one class per week and I feel like it's been super helpful because of my busy routine. In this study session, I will be reviewing previous classes, doing some homework to reveal, and also updating my notes because I have learned so many new topics and, and grammar points that I need to fix them in my head. I've been focusing on getting comfortable with Korean, so I'm trying my best to use the vocabulary from classes in my daily life. It's still hard for me to pronounce certain words, but I believe that by practicing them constantly, I will finally master them as well as possibly build a strong vocabulary. I'm always curious to know which languages you guys are learning, so please let me know in the comments and also give it a like to this video if you're enjoying. Um, I want you guys to feel like I'm a close friend that you can talk about um, how your stars are going, what methods don't work for you, or even which languages are boring in your opinion. I really hope to build this safe place for us to talk and maybe gossip over language drama. to draw some simple banners in my notes when I aim to emphasize a new grammar point, so I'll show you closely how I make it. Firstly, I place the ruler exactly on the line and then outline it with a black pen, um, making a curve on the sides as you guys can see it, and after that I place the ruler a little bit below the first line to make this 3D effect. One of the things that I need to stop procrastinating to use it are flashcards. They're extremely helpful and it has great impacts on my learning, so I hope to use them again as I used to. And also, this is not a propaganda by the way, but I do recommend using either Quizlet or Anki Pro. Um, I tried Anki, like the original one, but I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the design and the platform. Um, so that's why I went to Anki Pro, which seems pleasing to use and also has the same functionalities. So yeah, here's a short tip. Steven Sinan Haksaimika Sophinan Prunsa Saraimida Batanan Yoris Haimida O sea, él es un. él trabaja en la cocina, básicamente Yorisa. Um, and here, Mongol, it's Mongolia. And so, this is very important actually because um, here we learn how to ask. You have to change instead of imita, you change to imika. There is this double consonant here. Um, and well, if they ask you, Hanguk sara imika? Then you can say, um, Ne, Hanguk sara imida. Or you can, well, deny it if you're not. Anio, Hanguk sara mi animida. It's important to emphasize that you have to put this um, e here because of the consonant, as haram, that ends in. Um, <laughs> plus animita, animita. 안녕하세요, 어서 오세요, 손님. 안녕하세요, 연필이 있어요. 네, 있어요. 아 uh, 그리고 혹 혹시 마스 마스크 마스크 다 있어요? 마 마크 마스 마스크 다 있어요? 
아니요, 없어요. 오, 네. 이거는 뭐예요? 아, 주나이에요. 그리고 저거는 뭐예요? 사천이에요. So, um, well, we have some vocabulary here and we are just going to reveal. So, the first one is 어서오세요, which is like, come here, uh, welcome. It's used normally in a market, like in a store context, I would say. Um, 손님 means guest. Whenever I take a class, my teacher always passes a homework with some great exercises to practice listening and mostly writing. And honestly, I know it seems like a traditional method and, well, perhaps it is, um, but it does help me a lot on remembering the words and also writing properly. Korean is a hard language. I knew it wouldn't be an easy path, but we ain't giving up here. When we establish a goal, most of the time, the only thing that is stopping us from getting it is ourselves. So I know, coach talk, but you are totally capable of learning this Japanese alphabet and of mastering this verb conjugation in French and of course you can speak Russian fluently. Having constancy is the key. You don't need to sit on your desk every day to study your target language. You can listen to a song, read a chapter of your favorite book, or maybe reveal a lesson for 10 minutes. That's consistency. And this word is not always related to keep your streak on Duolingo. If you found this video nice, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more study vlogs. Plus, let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestion for the next videos related to language learning, college, or Korean specifically. Bye! See you in the next video!